Sterizer. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sterizer TV Teaser's Picture Slideshow Update, Season 6, Episode 129 of The River. And in today's episode, we are starting at Cobra Tusomukwena's house, where we find Rahari and Dimpo, as well as Bunolo, feeling so excited about Tuso's return. Where we find Dimpo saying that her fiance is coming back from Atlanta today, and her brother Tuso is back and is being released from prison. When Dimpo is telling Rahari and Bunolo that she's thinking about throwing a surprise lunch for her brother. When Rahadi and Bonolo ask Dimpo when she is planning to do this, Dimpo told them both that she is going to do it today, telling them that she already ordered meat and drinks. When Morena came and asked them if they think his father is gonna be happy about this because he has been depressed since coming back from prison and he has closed himself in a room, Bonolo told Morena that she thinks Tuso is still processing everything that has happened. So they need to rest and sleep. When Dimpo and Rahadi were so happy telling each other that they need to focus in this lunch and have a great time. When Dimpo checked the time and told them that it's 10 o'clock but her fiance Kanyiso landed at 8 o'clock from Atlanta. Dimpo told them both that she's coming back. She's going to see her fiance first before coming back to Tuso's party. And moving to Bangizo's script, Dumiso was welcoming the Congolese guy telling him to take a seat. When that guy from Congo Congo told Dumiso that he thought he was supposed to meet Lindy Wetikana. And Dumiso told him that of course he's going to meet Lindy Wetikana. Dumiso told the guy that she's just taking care of business. She's gonna meet him. And the guy asked Dumiso how at the scrapyard. Dumiso was begging the guy to sit down. It's nothing fancy. Lindy is gonna come. The guy from Congo sits on the chair. Dumiso told the guy that they said that he's always angry and tense. And they were not lying. So Dumiso took out his phone and phone Lindy where that the guy is here and he told Lindy where to hurry up because he's not a great company and Dumiso gave the guy his phone and the guy called Lindy where Mrs. Chikana she corrected the guy and told him that she's Miss Lamini right now and Lindy where told the guy to welcome back in South Africa she told him that she's sorry she couldn't be there to welcome him but she's on the way when Lindy where told the guy that she believes he's the right guy for the job and the guy complained that he He's been dumped in a scrapyard. And Lindy Way told the guy that Bukosi Lopez tentacles has reached far and wide. Lindy Way told the guy that she will be there as soon as she is done taking care of business. Dumiso stood up and took his father's whiskey, telling the guy that he knows that this is not available in Congo. He gave the guy the whiskey and the guy pushed back the bottle of whiskey he didn't want to drink. And going to Bukosi Lopez's house, Bukosi was telling Nomafu that they had a long drive from Pum Malanga, when Nomafu said she wished they were still back at the lodge having fun. And at that moment, Dimpo arrived with Nganiso when Dimpo greet the shoppers. Dimpo asked them if they are back and she told them that she wished they had a safe journey. And Dimpo asked them how's the baby because he told Dimpo that she's still fragile as she had an operation. And the shoppers went in the room when Dimpo told Nganiso that they gave them the privacy. When Dimpo was asking Nganiso what was he up to in Atlanta asking him if he missed her when Kanyiso was telling Dimpo to go upstairs with him when Dimpo was telling Kanyiso that she can't wait to be Mercy's shopper they went inside chasing each other back to Cobra's house Bonolo and Rahadi were talking about the salad they're making when Tuso came out of his bedroom angry asking them what's going on when they told him that they thought they would throw a party for him Cobra with anger asked them what party they talking about after all that happened, all they think about is the party. Rahadi tried to calm him down, telling him not to be upset. Cobra told them both that he doesn't want this nonsense. He asked them if they smoked something. He told them that it should be better if he stayed in prison, telling them they are annoying. And then he left them. Rahadi tried to comfort Bonolo, telling her not to get upset while she was saying sorry to Bonolo. And it looked like that party continued when Paco, Charlie and Beauty were 
were on the table with Cobra while they were all having a conversation when Cobra was quiet. When Charlie was telling Cobra that he was being arrested but he didn't deserve it, saying that Cobra can't be in prison when his friends are around. When the rest of them telling Cobra welcome back while they were eating. When one of them is saying that Angelina is gone but that's how life it is it has to go on. They were all chatting on the table when one of them said they need to forget about Angelina but they are here to support Cobra. When Charlie was so happy about alcohol Cobra got pissed off again telling all of them that his both wives are dead and he killed one of them but all they talk about is celebration because they want to stuff their faces. Cobra was shouting calling them refillable cockroaches. Beauty got angry at Cobra telling them to stop calling them cockroaches. There was too much argument at the table when Cobra tell all of them to get out and Beauty told Cobra that she's not going anywhere. Cobra stood up and told them all to get out of his house. Charlie and the other guy as well as Paco left while Beauty sat down and continued eating and Cobra told Beauty to get out of his house with her friends. When Beauty told Cobra that that is GBV telling him that she's not going anywhere. When Cobra was busy telling Beauty to get out Beauty ended up leaving Cobra when they were busy cursing each other. Moving to Bukosi Shopper's house, Nomaf was welcoming Bangizwe and Lindy were at the shopper's house as well as Ndumiso. When Lindy were told the shoppers that she is glad they are back from the United States when she was playing with the baby. When Lindy were asked Kwezi how's the baby, Kwezi told Lindy were that she's getting better. Lindy were asked Kwezi if she can hold Zanotando. Kwezi refused telling Lindy were that the doctor said she is still fragile so she can't be passed around from one person to another when Nomaf was explaining that to Lindywe saying that it's better if she sleeps and rest. Lindywe decided to take the baby from Kwezi's hands. When the shoppers told Lindywe that Dr. Mabaso said he's gonna find them a nurse to take care of the baby while the shoppers didn't know that Dr. Mabaso has already confessed about telling the truth about the shoppers secret. When Bukosi shoppers said Dr. Mabaso is a great man. Lindywe checked the baby. When Nomaf was asking Lindy well, what is it? Lindy well, told them that she's checking the baby's bandage if it isn't too tight. The shoppers told Lindy well, that it's not too tight, it's fine. Kwezi told Lindy well, that they showed her how to dress the wound. All the shoppers were looking at each other while Lindy well, and Bangizwe were looking at each other with Ndumiso listening to the shoppers lies. Back to Cobra's house, Cobra's phone was ringing and it was Zodwa, Polina's mother, telling Cobra that she heard that Cobra is giving anyone a tough time when they are trying to help him. Zotwa told Cobra she knows how he is feeling because she is also feeling the pain that Cobra is feeling. Mom Zotwa told Cobra that there is a child who doesn't have a mother that they all need to raise. Mom Zotwa told Cobra that all of them need to focus on Tato and forget about themselves. She told Cobra they need to try to do it better so Cobra doesn't need to sit and feel sorry for himself. Life must go on. And back to the shoppers, Lindy was whispering to Bangizwe telling him that these dogs are giving this baby a hard time with that blanket. Bangizwe told Lindy not to speak loud because they can hear her. They must not be aware that they know about their secret. When Lindy continued saying that she thought this crazy was different but she's like every one of them. Bangizwe shushed Lindy telling her that there is someone who's coming. Crazy came to them when Lindy was asking if she can hold Zanotando. Kwezi said no. As the doctor said, she's still a bit frail. So Lindywe can't pick her up. Lindywe and Bangiz were still looking at each other. Going back to Refilwe, Cobra was standing in front of Polina's shack, talking like she's talking to Polina, saying that he regrets everything that has happened before, saying that he wasn't here for Polina when she needed him, saying he treated her badly till her dying day. Cobra started to cry, saying that Polina Polina loved him. She loved him flows and all, saying that he missed Polina a lot. Back to the shopper's house, Veronica was coming with Andile to join the shoppers and Lindywe. When Veronica was asking her friend Nomafu how was the American trip, Andile asked for the photos, American pictures. Kwezi told all of them that they didn't take pictures. When Nomafu told Veronica that they had no 
no time to see and enjoy America because of the sick baby. And at that time of Veronica and Noma Fool's conversation, Bangizwe and Lindy were busy looking at each other when one of the shoppers was telling lies. And going back to Cobra's house, Cobra was sitting with Dimpo outside the house when Dimpo was telling her brother that everyone is waiting for him inside. When Cobra was telling Dimpo that he can't go inside there, he is not okay. Dimpo told Cobra to think about the kids because Dumi is gone, Polina is gone, Angelina is gone too. And both of them, Cobra and Dimpo, has lost their parents. So Dimpo was begging Cobra to think about his kids at least. Dimpo told her brother to pull up his socks because Morena too is growing up and soon he will be a father too. That means Cobra is going to be a grandfather so he has to guide him and Dimpo too is about to get married. Cobra told Dimpo that he doesn't know what to do. Dimpo told her brother all that he has to do is to pull up his socks that's all. Going back to Bangizwe's scrapyard, Lindiwe was joining the guy from Congo. When the Congolese telling Lindiwe that he's got some questions that need answers. The Congo guy asked Lindiwe how does she know about him. Lindiwe told the Congolese guy that she knows that Bukosi killed that guy's family and Bukosi too tried to kill her several times and he also tried to take over her business. Now he's holding her granddaughter hostage. So Lindiwe told the Congolese that she's got a blank check and a bullet. So it seems like Lindiwe and the Congolese guy are even. Let's Let's see what's gonna happen on our next episode and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching Storiza TV and please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos like this.